Good morning. It is my pleasure and a blessing to be able to welcome you into the house of the Lord today. Amen. Can we all give God a shout of praise this morning? Can we give God a shout of praise this morning? Can we praise the Lord this morning? He's a wonderful God. He's an awesome God. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord today? I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Let us praise the Lord this morning. Father God, we give you thanks and we give you praise. Father God, you're an awesome God. You're a wonderful God, Father. And Father God, we give you praise. We give you glory, Lord, for who you are. You're an awesome God. Father God, as we open this service, Lord, we ask that you would be in our presence, Lord. You say where two or three are gathered, that you will be in the midst. Father God, we ask that you would bless the ones that's listening with us here on social media. We ask that you would be the ones that's here in the sanctuary. And Father God, as we listen to your word this morning, may you pour your spirit out, Lord. Bless us today, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, stand to your feet if you can. We're going to give him some praise in this house. Those of you who are in the outer court, come on in. Well, I don't see a whole lot, so that's good. Hallelujah. You glad to be here. We are going to get into where God is. And I believe that's why we came. Some people have come from far away and some people come from near. But we thank God for those of us that are here today. Amen. We welcome you, all of you, and those that are watching online. Amen. Amen.
today and we give God praise and thanks. So we are so glad. We pray some more folks will be coming in. If you yeah. the sound of my voice, come on in. We're here to dance. Woo. We're here to worship. Yeah. We're here to give God a good come praise. On, Amen. Come Look, come on. Let's be real. We can't do this on the bus. <laughs> All right. We can't do it on the trains and we can't do it in the office. They'll think we're mad, right? So we come here. And get Woo, a yeah. and praise. Let's go.
are blessed, God. How many know you're already blessed? Amen. Amen. And we are blessed to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. So I don't know about you, but... Tell look what the Lord has done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look what the Lord has done. Oh, yeah. He healed my body. He touched my mind. He saved me. today father god we thank you for victory come on just begin to thank him for victory right here because god you have allowed us to have that victory today god we give you a praise in this place we came to magnify you and to worship you come on somebody ought to give him praise i believe heaven gets excited when the earth praises him and when we worship God, God, I think he gets off his throne and he says, look at him. In spite of everything they're going through, they're able to lift me up. And you know what the Bible says about that? If you lift me up, I will what? Draw all men 
unto himself. Amen. We thank you so much, God. Thank you, yeah, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Cause Father, I see that you draw it. A line in the sand. I want to be standing by your side. Holding your hand. So let your kingdom come. Let it live in me. This is our bread. This is our peace. Father, I see that you're drawing the line in the sand. And I want to be standing by your side. Throw it. 
Come on, throw both hands in the air if you can. Oh, oh, oh Lord, Lord, I surrender. Stay right there. Stay in that moment right here. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, just hallelujah. begin to worship him. Worship him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let those words go up. Hallelujah. Tell him how much you love him. Tell hallelujah, him how much you need him. Yes, we, that's why we came, Lord. We came to worship you, to honor you. Yeah. Yeah. 
Come on, heaven is worshiping the Lord right now, and, and so shall the earth. God, wherever, wherever your people are, God, that has a heart for worship. Oh, good worshipers. Pastor Mike, Michael, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let the worshipers arise. Just see the Lord high and lifted up. Let the sons and the daughters sing. I'm surrendering my own. Make it personal. I be afraid. When enemies, my foes, came and eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Huh. The host shall encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war shall rise against me, and this will I be confident. And I went there because that one thing, you all been telling me since I preached that message, that one, one thing. thing. <laughs> what is that one thing? Have you found that one thing yet? Huh. So right now, I just want you to focus on one thing. One thing. As I said, David nailed it. He said, if I can just dwell in your house, God. If I can just dwell in your house, I know that I'm going to have peace. I can inquire. I have protection. Focus on that one thing today, guys. Lord, we are here. We just want one thing, God. We just want to be in your presence. We just want to be in your presence, God. We want to be broken before you, God. We want to surrender before you. Break us again, Lord. Make us over if you have to, God. Give us that one thing. That you hear our hearts. You hear our hearts cry, God. There are many of us, Lord, but that's just one thing that we really need is that just you. More of you, more of you more of you, Father. 
Thank you for your forgiveness today. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you that you have never had cast us out, Lord. Thank you for Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you for Jesus that washed us white as snow. Thank you for the blood, the cleansing blood that gives us access, access into your glory. Let us pass in your glory, Lord, because of Jesus. That we have no fear, Lord. That we're naked and not ashamed, God. We're standing in your presence. Knowing that we're broken, knowing that we're flawed. But in you, Lord, we're made whole. Amen. Lord, there's healing. Someone needs healing today. We're still praying for zealous sight, Lord. We believe it. We believe in all the prayers that that went up. We believe in God. We haven't given up, Lord. So let our prayers become before memorial before you right now and bring a miracle right now. Because you are a miracle worker. Working miracles in this place right now, God. That somebody be set free, Lord. From addiction, Lord. Somebody be set free from, 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 from the bondage. The bondage of, 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 of suicide or, or, or death, oh Lord, or weary, Lord. Set somebody free right now, God. Set them free. Because there's freedom in Christ. You know the needs in this place, Lord. You can fix it. There's nothing too hard for you. Nothing too hard for you, God. Nothing too hard for our God. That's right. So we believe. And we wait on you. We wait on you. We don't want to get ahead of you, God. We want to wait on you and meet you there. Fall on us. Fall afresh. A fresh anointing, God. A fresh forever, God. A fresh word. Just a fresh love, Lord. Because your mercies are new every morning. They endure forever. And your love, your love, your love, Lord, from from everlasting to everlasting. So blessed today. You know the needs of this house. Every home that's watching, blessed right now in the name of Jesus. Fill that cover, oh Lord, where there's lack. Fill that cover, oh Father God. Where there's hurt, oh Lord, bring healing. Where there's sorrow, Lord, bring rejoicing, God. Bring rejoicing, God. Thank you. Thank you. We receive it. We receive it. We receive it. Mm, the Lord is in this place, church. Don't miss his press. Touch him. That one thing. That one thing. We receive it right now. Go ahead. Go ahead, Simon. We receive it. Thank you, Lord. Lord, stand up in our pastor today. Stand up in our pastor today, Lord. Use him mightily. Thank you for his leadership, God. Thank you for his labor all these years. His wife, they have labored in the vineyard, Lord. Thank you for Pastor Amor and Sister Eustace. Thank you. Thank you for the leadership team of this church, ELA. And what they do for this community, Lord. What they do for the kingdom, God. Bless this church. You know the vision. You know the desire. Thank you for the finances. Thank you for every giver today. Thank you, God. God, we just want to be in your presence. We just, we just say thank you. Because you've been good to us. For the earth is the Lord's. And the fullness thereof. We surrender now. Do what you do. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Somebody give God praise in this place. Somebody give God praise in this place. Give God praise in this place. Give God praise in this place. place. David said, I was glad when they said, let us go to the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said, let us go to the house of the Lord. We in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody give God glory!
said, I was glad when they said, let us go into the house of the Lord. Are you glad? I'm glad. Are you I'm glad? Come on. I will look to the hill which comes my help, nor all my help yeah. comes from the Lord. Yeah. It's good to be in his presence. These are ones recognize God's glory and God's presence. Pastor Sam, will you just wave to the people today? Pastor Sam is in the what? house. Hey, Amen, yeah. Pastor Sam. He's in the house today. I say it like this, what? What? Amen. <laughs> hey, hey, Amen. It's, gonna, it's a great day. It's going to be a great day, yeah. church. Yeah. Aren't you glad you came to church today? Woo. We're going to take the offering. I, I, I do want to say this real quick. You can be seated for a minute. My wife and I, we're, we're not church hoppers. We've probably only been in really maybe three churches or four churches. But I must say, DLA is probably the most anointed church that we've been members of. We're going to make some noise for that. Amen. Oh, DLA is probably the most anointed church that we've been members of. And we're honored. We're honored to be part of this experience. Amen. I'll share this with you uh, back in, I think it was 95, was it 95? We was in the Four Square Church, not knowing what Four Square was. We was, we was following uh, Jack Hayford. He was Four Square. We was out there at a conference they was having in Van Niles, uh, California. And uh, the power of the anointing, the presence of God was so powerful, I just heard rain falling inside the building. And I knew God was saying something, speaking in that's now, that's the ladder and the form of rain coming together. And it's now that I'm experiencing that rain right here in this place. Hallelujah. Amen. So I thank God for again for leadership of this church. Pastor Day Moore, leadership of this church. Somebody say it's offering time. Offering time. Praise the Lord. It's offering time. Praise the Lord. Let's get ready to give for church. Let's get ready. Ursula, go ahead and give. Go ahead and come and come forward. Give God your best offer because he gave us his best. Amen. Again, with me, it's always kingdom investment. It's not just giving to the church, but you're giving to the kingdom church. You're giving to God. You can't beat God giving, so give. For all those at home, we bless you. Continue to give. You know how to give through uh, online, through your giving. And then I just want to, if Pastor Kenny is looking, just congratulations and just thank Pastor Kenny for what you do for this church. Amen. I've been missing him. Hey Amen. I hear he just had a couple of new deliveries or something, new grandbabies. Hey Amen. So, Pastor Sarah and your family, God bless you. God bless you and your family. Hey Amen. Hey Amen. Give, give, give us some giving music. Y'all want some giving music, right? Go ahead and stand. Let's rejoice. Let's give God our best. Give us some giving music. Bless the child you be. Bless the child you be. Amen. Go ahead and stand. Let's dance. Bless the child you be. Let's rejoice. Let's rejoice. Let's rejoice. Let's rejoice. Shall you be? Bless shall you be? Come on. Bless this is the word of God, be. amen. In the city, bless it shall you be when you come in. Yeah, yeah. Bless it shall you be when you go out. Yeah, yeah. Bless it shall you be when you come in. I know. Bless it shall you be. spiritual blessing in heavenly places amen bless coming in bless going out so lord we bless you today 
bless you for the opportunity to give. Bless every gift, oh Lord, everyone that have desired to give and found themselves short. Lord, use this offering for, for the benefit of your kingdom. Thank you for DLA. Thank you for the stewardship of this church, the council, Lord, that the finances are intact because of your glory. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Church, I want you to do me a favor and look at Pastor Amar and say, Pastor, Pastor. we're praying for you. We're praying for you. And we thank you. Amen. amen. Welcome our pastor, Pastor Amar. Amen. You're blessed, you're blessed, amen. Hallelujah. Come on, give him a shout. Give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Wonderful, Thank you, Pastor. wonderful, Thank you. wonderful. Such a blessing to have the choir and the musicians making melody Amen. in the house of the Lord. You guys are good. Bless. Hallelujah. Just a few announcements. Uh, prayer after service right here with Brother Jerry. If you need prayer, you know the group that meets to pray. Um, want to say hi Mike and Candace. Tomorrow is their seventh wedding anniversary. Woo! Huge wow. congratulations. Friday was Mike's birthday, so this is a big weekend for them. So praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's so good to see Tommy back after, I don't know, four, six weeks having fun in Panama. Welcome back, Tom. We missed you. Hallelujah. Tom, raise your hand. Let him see who I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> so good to see Ingrid and... William, nice to have you. Thank you for coming. And uh, let me see if any first-timers are around. Um, if you're a first-timer, raise your hand. Um, we welcome you. It's always good to see Sabrina here. She's, she's our banker, and uh, I'm delighted to see she and her family with us. So praise the Lord. Um, just to know if you're fanning, there's a reason for that. We have four AC units in the building. Only one is working. The three have conked out. They need to be replaced. So we will look to God for a miracle. And if God speaks to anyone in your heart to help us get one of these units going, we can do them one by one. Uh, we will appreciate the sacrifice. This is happening next Sunday. This gentleman is a unique person. He was ambassador to the United Nations. He is a chemist, PhD, astrophysicist. He specializes in scientific research. Apart from his circuit where he moves around with the scientists going and giving lectures on health and immunity and so forth, he has a wonderful ministry of healing. When he comes next Sunday, he wants a prayer line. Anybody sick, so many testimonies have followed his ministry. So apart from his education and his skills, really multi-talented guy, uh, he'll be preaching the gospel. Uh, he's a devotee of uh, I got Miles Monroe. So you know what to expect. He's a kingdom preacher. So he'll be talking about the kingdom and how we miss the kingdom and what the kingdom is all about and that healing belongs to the children. So it's going to be a great service. Bring somebody out and invite somebody. Uh, next week, Pepe, Dr. Pepe Ramnath will be with us and his family. So thank you so much. Could you say glory to God? All right. Can you? I like in, in the just prove that if you clap like this, 
for two minutes every day, it does something to your body. It calms your body. Something about the hands that the nerves run through your body and reset your body. So I've been clapping just for like that every day. Just like that. But then I remember the Bible says, clap unto the Lord. Clap unto the Lord. <laughs> there must be a reason why he said clap unto the Lord. It has health benefits. It has health benefits. Praise the Lord. As a matter of fact, I'm talking about benefits today. Turn with me to Psalms 103. I don't plan on being long. But you know how that goes when a preacher tells you he's going to be short. You watch out. There were these two little boys, very naughty. They stole some apples. And uh, they were running and looking for a place to hide. So they saw a church. Say, ah, that's the best place to hide. Let's go in and hide. When they went, the preacher was preaching about God. He said, God is missing in this church. Where is God? We can't find God anywhere. Two little boys looked at each other, said, let's get out of here before they think we had something to do with that, you know. God is never missing. He's an ever-present God. And he's here with us today. If you will put your antennas up, switch off from stations and zone into the word of God mixed with faith, you will walk out of here blessed. Can I hear? I, I need a little help today. I read Psalms 1 and 3. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Repeats. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Now is an addition. Forget not all. The word all is mentioned several times here. Forget not all his benefits. Who? The key, one word key here is who. Who forgives all thine iniquities? Who heals some of thy diseases? Mm -hmm. Who redeems part of your life from destruction? Who crown your toes with loving kindness? And who touches your fingers with tender mercies? Mm. Who halfway satisfy your mouth with breakfast and, and lunch? And dinner. So that thy youth is renewed like a chicken. Are you following me? You reading your Bible? Uh, are you hearing the same thing I'm, I'm seeing? Ah, uh -huh, you caught me up there. <laughs> you have your, your notes, so I will uh, run through. And you need to write in something because I left out some things. My topic is the five pictures of grace. These five benefits, actually. So more emphasizing benefits. The question I have for you. Are there any benefits in serving God? If you were not aware of any benefits, would you still be serving God? Would you love him for the singular reason that he loved you and gave himself for you? Would you have served God if only you knew that eternal life was all that you would get? And that you would have to suffer throughout your life and that there would be no blessing in this life. Would you still serve God? Yeah. Pastor Sims, welcome buddy. Good to see you. Amen. Amen. So... Let me do some preliminaries here before I get to the five pictures of grace. All the grace of God. Bless the Lord. 
Sometimes we honestly say, brother, I bless you. Oh, here is something to bless you with. That's wonderful. We can bless each other. But how do we bless God? Since God gives us all the blessings, and we use the word blessings in the sense of good things, benefits, healings, mercy, protection, everything that we cannot manufacture or buy, God blesses us. How can we in turn bless God? Bless the Lord. The word bless there literally translates from a Hebrew word that means to speak well of. Since I cannot bless God or give him anything to make him happy. I, he accepts my praise with joy but I can't give him anything. I can't do anything to make him jump and leap off his throne except by faith. How can I bless God? I can bless God by speaking well about him. When the doctor says X, I can say not so. When the banker refuses your loan, I can say God is my supplier and my redeemer. I can bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, all ye his saints. Just bless him. Speak well of him. There will come a time in your life when life will be so critically and so, so bad that you will want to, to, to question whether God loves you or not. Did you really care? I am going through so much. And nobody is with me. And nobody is helping me. And nobody is seemingly concerned. I wrestle alone. I fight alone. Does he really care? Well, if you've served the Lord uh, for many years. So one year, it doesn't matter. You will know that the Lord is good. And that his mercy is endured forever. And that God could never be wrong. And that God could never do anything wrong. And that God could never lie. And that God could never change his mind. We serve an awesome God. And all we can do is say, I speak well of the goodness of God. I will testify no matter how bad it is. God is good to me. I will speak well of the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So put aside the grumbling and the complaining and the dissatisfaction with how God is working and how he's not working and why he's late and why things are not happening. Just bless the Lord. Speak well of him. Hallelujah. Let's boast about his goodness. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Quickly. Man is made of three parts. Body, soul, and spirit. The soul being the center of your being uses your spirit to communicate with God. You, can't, you cannot communicate with God in the soul form. It, you go to God through the spirit man. And the soul through the body contacts the world. And the world through the body contacts the soul. The soul is the center of your being. What he's saying, I am going to bless God from the center of my being. Not from the just because I'm, I'm healthy, I'm going to clap. Or not just because my spirit is feeling good, I'm going to praise. No, from the center of my being, from deep within, from everything I have, I will bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. He's appealing to his inner man to bless God. Hallelujah. These people worship me with their lips. But their hearts are far from me. We bless God from deep within. And not only just bless the Lord, but all that is within me, bless his name, which is holy. You're blessing his name. You're speaking good about his name. You're exalting his name. You, 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 you're expanding the kingdom of God through blessing his name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Now, that's a very interesting, this doctor fellow from um, Longwood, um, what's his name now? He's a world-renowned, written many books on health. Um, he just came out with a book, The Emotions of the Organs, Internal Organs. Science have proven, a while back now, that there is a second brain in the gut. Because endothelial cells that line the brains, lines the alimentary canal, come down and it, it, it lines the intestines. So that when you start to feel sick, you start to feel from here 
You feel upset stomach. You feel, you feel it here first before you feel it here. So he proved that the, the heart has feelings. That the lungs have feelings. That the kidneys, all your internal organs have feelings. A scientific truth discovered in the days of the psalmist. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. But let everything, all my organs praise the Lord. And let's, let's just, when you get time, sometimes say, my liver, thank you, Lord. Amen. You just, uh, Mike did his blood work yesterday, and I read his blood work, and my... I was just ticking off. Uh, had such a perfect blood work. His um, A1C score is 5.0. I said, bless the Lord, uh, your A1C system. Uh, his triglycerides were down, down, down. I said, bless the Lord. I was blessing God for every organ in his body. His GFR was 118. Wow, that's a healthy young man there. And I, together with him, we were blessing the Lord for everything that was inside of him. So bless the Lord for your organs. Bless the Lord for your inside. Bless the Lord from your inside. And bless his holy name. Let's go down now. Forget not all his benefits. Sometimes we forget. And the theme was, remember not to forget. The word forget here means to be ungrateful. Unthankful. Not remembering what the Lord has done. And so we tend to forget and, and as human beings, we get blessed today. We want more blessing tomorrow. And we, we, we keep forgetting the blessings of yesterday and last year. And five years ago, how the Lord saved you from that accident. Or how he delivered you in the hospital room. We, we, we forget. We just want to be happy, happy, happy. We want more and more and more. Not everybody, but that's the general tend, tendency in this generation. Give me more. Let's not forget. And what? We should not forget. Forget not all his benefits. Who? Who bless you? Now, there, everything in life I, I, I've looked at has benefits. You take out an insurance policy, they're going to outline all the benefits for you. Bank, uh, uh, bankers are now ad advertising. Come bank with us. Here are the benefits. We will give you so much and so much for so much. Even doctors now are advertising a, th a thing that was uh, not done before. Come to our practice. We have the best doctors. We have the best medicine. We have the best hospital. You have benefits coming to this hospital. Well, my favorite one is the benefits of being married. I don't know about you, you know. This end of this month will make us 51 years married. <laughs> and I have benefited. <laughs> My marriage brought me benefits. I can't speak for her. But I have one sitting there and two little ones there. Benefits. <laughs> benefits from this union. And I am saying, when you have a union with God, you will receive benefits. Amen. Once you and God is connected properly and through the word, benefits must come your way. Amen. Let's get to the benefits. Hallelujah. Amen. The first benefit or the first, uh, pic there are five pictures. Each one of these benefits picture is up there, pictorial words that present a scene. So the first one, verse three, who forgives all thine Iniquities, sins, transgressions, whatever you have committed in the past, God does not hold it against you. Once he has forgiven you, he has taken your sins and thrown it literally in the sea of forgetfulness. Amen. So that one day Satan was um, reminding God about uh, one, of the, uh, one of the early church fathers and said, well, you remember he did this? And God said, what are you talking about? God doesn't remember. God does not remember. He doesn't keep in his memory your sins. 
He has washed it. He has thrown it away. Do not let your past destroy your future. Do not let it hinder you. We all make mistakes, but we have to move on and we have to get going because our tomorrows are better than any of our yesterday. The best is yet to come. Can I hear somebody say amen? Who forgives all thine iniquities? This is the picture of a courtroom where the guilty stands before the judge. And he's declared and he's condemned. And the judge decides to have mercy. Because he found a provision in the law that says he has the power to pardon. And he decides to pardon this offending and offensive individual. We all have offended God. Every one of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But when God saw the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, God decides because of that atoning sacrifice, he can and will forgive us from all our sins. And in the court, that's called justification. The doctrine of justification is that God wipes your slate clean and mark you cleared and guiltless. You are free. That is what it means to be saved. Saved from your past. Martin Luther, the reformer, was having a lot of problems with the devil. He discovered uh, that we are saved by grace. And the day he discovered that, he jumped out of his office and he ran down the street shouting, Grace, grace, grace. We are saved by grace, not by works. He went back to the office and the devil came to him personally and said, No, 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 no. You're not forgiven. You were not saved. And for days, Luther was harassed by the devil. Luther took a, a page and he wrote down all his sins. Every one of them that he could remember. He said, Satan, you see this, this list? This is all my sins. He had a pot of red ink. You know, they had fountain pen and ink. He took the red ink pot and he splashed it all over the page and colored it red. And he said, there, Satan, the blood of Jesus Christ, God's son, cleanseth us from all sin. I am free. And never again did the devil bother him about his sins. Because the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, all oh, the benefits of the blood. Oh, the forgiveness, the atonement, the access to the throne. There's so much as you study the blood, the benefits of the blood, the benefits of being forgiven. The second picture is who healeth all thy diseases. It's a picture of a physician and a hospital. It's a picture of a sick patient who's gone in and he's hopelessly ill. And many times, I mean, you just have to read the Gospels. And see how God exercised the power of healing. And I want to tell you that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday. And he's the same today. And he's the same tomorrow. And he will not change. And his healing power has not diminished or disappeared. That God still heals. Wherever he sees faith, he acts upon it. And he will give you a miracle today. No matter where, what you are suffering. Jehovah Rapha. Jehovah Rofika, I am the Lord that healeth thee, is still a covenant God in Jesus Christ. You might be a patient, you might be living in a world that's full of pain and, and sicknesses, but I tell you, he heals all of your diseases. No one or two. All. I believe in total healing. I believe from head to toe, in and out, that God is ever, ever unwilling to heal. Yes. Receive your healing because by his blood, by his stripes, we were healed. It's been done. Yes. Hallelujah. Come out of that mental hospital. Come out of that emotional hospital and live a life that, that, that's happy. Oh, it's time to get happy. Even if you don't feel good, start to, start to walk up and down the house and, and laugh. Just get happy, laugh. There is a psychology of laughter now, you know. That when you go to some psychology, they say, sit down there and laugh. Just laugh. 
Laugh. <laughs> just laugh, laugh, laugh. The, the psychologist makes them laugh for 10 minutes. Just laugh, laugh, laugh. Because what laughing does, it stirs up some of the endorphins and all the happy things inside of you. And, and when for, no, for no reason, you just feel different. Oh, let's make a joyful noise <laughs> unto the Lord. Hallelujah. The first picture of grace is the picture of the court and forgiveness. The second picture of grace is the picture of the hospital, the healer, and the present. The God who is present to heal you, Jehovah Rapha. The third picture. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction. We're not talking about a, 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 an arm that is sick or a leg that is sick or head that is not a piece of your body. We're talking about the life. Your whole being. We're talking about the act of salvation. This is the picture of the redeemer and the redemption. This, this picture of the redeemer is a picture of the slave market. Where slaves were sold on the block and auctioned off to the highest bidder. You and I, were, this is, this is the, the truth in the theology of redemption. We were, so to speak, on the block sold by Satan, but nobody could pay the price. Satan's price for the redemption of man's soul was too high. No king, you know, I, I like this, this rhyme because it's a very spiritual one. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty, Adam and Eve, had a great fall. All the king's horses, the prophets, and all the king's men... Could not put back Humpty Dumpty together again. Because it was an egg. It had to be a new one. A new creation. And so when men, man fell. Man couldn't put him back. Only God could have restored him. And so God sent his son. And in the image of Christ we are restored. Into the image of God. Hallelujah. So. So the devil asked for a price, and God said, well, I'm going to give you the most expensive thing I have in heaven. Uh, you, you see my golden throne? You see the streets of gold? They're not worth it. I am not going to send anybody. I am coming myself. There is no greater price. Christmas is not about a, a boy in a manger. It is the incarnation. It is about God manifesting himself in the flesh and walking among us to redeem us. Hallelujah. From the curse of the Lord, the curse of Adam. I am redeemed. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Say so. Shout. Come on, shout. I am redeemed. I have been bought with a price. I belong to God. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. He bought me. Paul makes it very clear. You are bought with a price. You are not your own. Therefore glorify God in your body. And in your spirit which belongs to God. Why do we act as if we belong to ourselves? Why do we do all what we do as if we have no guide, no owner? And that's where we made all the mistakes. Acting on our own and failing to acknowledge we were bought. We're not our own. You're somebody else's slave. Paul acknowledged that. I was a slave to Satan. Now I'm a slave to Jesus Christ. I have a new master. I have a new owner. If you see it like that. This life will not trouble you. Hallelujah. The fourth picture of grace. Who crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Where do you put a crown? Crowns are made for the head. You see, some of us really have a hard time sleeping. We worry. We're scared of tomorrow. Our heads hurt because of the worry, the stress. How am I going to get this done? Where am I going to get the money for this? How am I going to pay my bills? What, what, what's happening in my children's life? Worry, worry, worry. And as if your head has a crown of thorns. Well, let me tell you something. Jesus wore the crown of thorns so you and I don't have to wear it. 
Take off the crown of thorns. He promised to crown you. Hey, to put a crown of loving kindness and tender mercies. Just imagine you walking around with the love of God on your head. With the tender mercies of God bathing your body every day. Oh, hallelujah. You are blessed. You are favored. The Lord is crowning you. This is a picture of royalty. You belong to the royal family of God. We are no longer aliens and strangers from the common wealth of Israel, but we are the priests of God. We are a royal priesthood. Hallelujah. Hey, do that. I'm royalty. I am not telling you what the scripture doesn't say. You are a heir of God. A heir, an heir of God. And a joint heir with Jesus Christ. That everything God has and he's given to his son, you will have. Oh, that royalty. Talk to yourself. You're not poor. You may not have what... Bezos have, and poor fella can't use it much. Um, Elon Musk, good, good people, w- wonderful people. But to have that and not have joy, I'm not saying they don't have joy. I don't know them. But I'm saying little is much when God is in it. The fact that you can sit down and drink a cup of coffee and enjoy it is a blessing by itself. The fact is that you could go to bed and rest your head and your heart is not palpitating. It's a blessing in itself. The fact that you know you're going to wake up tomorrow for joy comes in the morning and you will have mercy renewed to you tomorrow. Oh, it's worth the living. It's worth the living. He will take away your sadness and crown you with gladness. That's, that's what he wants. God is not a punisher. God is not an executioner. He's a lover. He loves us. We just see, interpret God from our experiences. And when our experiences are bad, we say God is bad. That's not right. God is love and God is kind. I'm not saying God is unbalanced. I know God is just and he will punish you for your sins. I want you to know that. If you reject Jesus Christ, you're going to go to hell. I want you to know that. I'm not compromising the gospel. I'm not trying to be a positive speaker. I am telling you the truth. God loves you. He cares for you. He has forgiven all your iniquities. He heals all your disease. He redeemed your life from destruction. And now he crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. And finally, the last picture of grace is a picture of the eagle renewing its strength and youth. Who satisfy thy mouth with good things. The word mouth there is not the best translation. The word should be life. Who satisfies your life with good things. You see, mouth, you could have appetite today and don't have an appetite tomorrow. Go back and you track the translation anywhere. He satisfies your life. Your whole life. He satisfies your whole life. With good things. Now, the, the, an eagle can live, a healthy eagle can live up to about 50 years. But around that time, the eagle will go into the mountains very far away, a high rock. And he will peck his beak. Peck, 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 peck until the beak falls off. Very painful. It takes about a week for things to begin to happen. His feathers, when he does that, his feathers falls off. He's like a Kentucky chicken without feathers. But in two to three weeks time, the feathers begin to grow. And the pinion on his wings that lifts his giant body, or he can lift up to 50 pounds or more with his talons and fly away with it. His wings are renewed. His beak comes back like a young eagle. And he can live for another 40 to 50 years. 
They have tracked them. They have been their claws and dated them and found that eagles can live with renewed youth up to 90 to 100 years. So you think your life is over? So you think at 60 you finish? Or 70 you waning down? No, he promised he will renew your youth. You will feel young again. You will never need Viagra or anything like that. You will be in your prime like Abraham was when he was 100 years old. He fathered 12 tribes after at 159 years old. Oh, he will renew your strength. He will renew your manhood, your womanhood. Whatever is taken away, he's going to give it back. Oh, yes. oh, bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. The five pictures of grace. The picture of the court, you're forgiven. It's blotted out. The picture of the hospital. Jehovah Rapha is your healer. All sicknesses, all, will be healed in faith. The picture of the slave market, the redeemer. You were bought with a price, you're not your own. The picture of royal goodness, he crowns you. He removed the crown of thorns and give you a crown of joy and gladness. You can sleep better. The picture of the eagle, you're not old. You can be renewed. You can have another 50 years in your life. You see me? I am going to live until I am 96. I had a dream about that. A beautiful dream and I'm believing a dream. But when I, was, when I celebrated my 71st birthday, um, Ezzy did something amazing. Well, his mom and dad was behind it. He brought me $71. He said, Papa... And he's a smart kid, I'm telling you. This guy, is, you, 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 you talk to him. He said, Papa, you're 71 years old? Here's $71. So I pinned it up with his card on the wall. Two minutes later, as he comes up with a $20 bill. And he said, Papa, this $20 bill is for your next 20 birthdays. I said, prophesy to me, thou son of man. I will live to execute and to manifest and show the glory of God. Neither will you. Oh, bless the Lord. Come on, let's stand and bless the Lord. Speak well of him for the benefits that you have. And I say unto you, what God has done before, he can do it again. Amen. Who's going to come and help me? Hallelujah. The fact that I preached this sermon and made it to this point is one of the miracles and blessings of God. Friday, I took my fourth booster shot, my second booster shot, my fourth shot. And you know what that would do to you afterwards. So I didn't think I could make it. I had a backup because the preacher who was supposed to preach couldn't make it and I only found that out Friday. So thank you for, for your prayers and thank you for your love. Yeah. Keep deep life alive by coming, serving, and remember we need some AC units. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, while, while Minister Simon gets ready, I just want to say, you, you can have your seat for a little bit. Pastor, you talk so good. A lot of people can't believe it. No, seriously. You say so many good things. It takes faith to believe. It takes faith to believe. Yes. I mean, you could sit there and hear all these good things and it just goes over, over your head. They used to have a soap opera a long time ago, All This and Heaven Too. Some of you who are young like me will remember it. Because he asked the question, he said, what if all you have in Christ is eternal life? Would you still love him? And I know all of us would. But besides eternal life, we have all of this. What he just mentioned, all this and heaven too. And if we would just believe, saints, now 
he, God, he says, who heals all your diseases, forgives all your iniquities. Let me tell you something. I have a dentist who took out a tooth for me. And I didn't feel anything. I had a little problem afterwards, but he is good, very good. Okay? Now I tell you this about my dentist. He's, tell, he's told you this about his God. You can go to my dentist. If you don't go to him, you're not going to receive what I received. Let's face it. You can only get it if you go to him. I can boast him up as much as I want. And the pastor can lift up God as much as he wants to, as much as he reads in the Bible. If you do not go for it, if you do not claim it, Hallelujah. you cannot get it. If you do not believe it, you cannot receive it. He talked about just one minute. I want you to play, but Martin Luther took the blood. And I suffered like that before. I didn't do much. I wasn't a bad person. I wasn't a young, strapping, handsome like Jason, so do all kind of a wicked things. <laughs> but I did things that were not right. And the enemy picked on me after I got saved. And God, the same blood, he showed me the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood covers everything. And you today, I just want the first thing for those of you who are not saved. And you believe that you have sinned so much. You have done so much wrong. Be it known unto you today that the blood of Christ covers everything. Think about it as they play. We're going to wait. I wait for you to make up your mind if you're not saved. Don't waste this message today. Go ahead, saints. Yes, let's sing with them. Hallelujah. I just want to say, because I just want to speak the name yes. of Jesus. Yes, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Think about it, saints. Over Jesus who died. Every Jesus who died for you. It doesn't matter what you what you have done. I know there is peace within his presence. Make you feel you're not saved, you're not worthy. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Your name is Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Your name is Yes. Jesus. Your name. Jesus. 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 Say his name. Say his name. Jesus, Son of God, break every strong. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Shine through the shadow. Jesus, the Messiah, the Savior of the world. Hallelujah, his blood, his blood, his blood, his blood. His blood. Your name yes. is power. Glory be to God. Your name is healing. Ah, oh, yes. Your name is Say the name, say the name. Yes. Use the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Oh, God, help me. He showed me that when Israel left Egypt, it, there could have been a boy there, the worst of the Jews. But just because the blood was put on the door, just because the blood was put on the door, he got away from Egypt. When he got to the wilderness, he didn't have to worry about his past because of the blood. The blood, saints. Are you here this morning and your past is troubling you? May I see by the lifting of your hands? We're going to put it under the blood today. Are you here this morning and your past is troubling you? Let us see by the lifting of your hands. If you're, if you, if you're if, if you are ashamed or, or you're timid to do it, it's okay. But remember this, that the blood of Christ was shed for you. Are you here this morning and you never received Jesus Christ as Savior? You never received Jesus Christ and you want to be saved. His name, the only name given among men whereby we might be saved. Are you here this morning and you're not saved and you want to be saved? Let us see by the lifting of your hands. Glory be to God. Okay. I want to give one more invitation. You're here this morning, and the devil is telling you, you see, the Bible says he heals all of, all of our diseases. 
It doesn't say he prevents you from getting sick. Listen carefully. You will get sick. I get sick. I have a situation that I have to deal with. The Bible doesn't say he will not, you will not get sick or he prevents you from getting sick. It's okay to get sick sometimes. What it says is he heals you of all your diseases. Yeah. That's the difference. And you got to make that claim just as how Martin Luther, just as how Luther made the claim of the blood. You make the claim of the body, the wounded body, the broken body, the body that saved you, the body that healed you, the Rafa body. You got to make that claim this morning. So you're good with the blood. How about the body? If you've been sick for a while, if you've been sick for a while with a condition, now God can send you to the doctors and the doctors can do a good job. I went to the doctor and I'm going to the doctor. It's good. It's okay. But the real healing comes from God. He heals all of our diseases. All. All, he says, all. But you got to go to him. You got to come to him. You got to accept it. If you're here this morning and you've been suffering, you are suffering. We want you to stand. We want you to pray. We want us to pray this morning. And come to the one who heals. As a matter of fact, you come to the altar. Come, come to the one who heals. You can come to the altar. Because he heals all. He's not a specialist. He's not a specialist. He heals all. He heals all. Toothache, headache, footache, bellyache. Whatever it is. He heals all. But you must come to him. This is why I said to Pastor, it is so good what he said this morning. It's so good that it is hard to believe sometimes because it is so good. But it is the truth. It is the truth. The same Jesus we are looking to come from heaven. It's the same Jesus who is here now in spirit to heal. We're going to believe for Sister Yvonne. Let us believe for her. Those of you who are well, believe for her in the name of Jesus Christ. It is enough. It is too much. Do like, do like Luther. He flushed the ink. You spread the body. Spread the body over your body. The body of Jesus. The name of Jesus. It is too much. Glory be to God. Go ahead. I just want yes. to speak the name, the name of, Jesus. of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Every dark. Yes, sir, so you just lay hands on her. Every say dark so. addiction starts to break. Sister Barbara, come and help. Come and help the ladies and pray for Sister Abel. Oh. This is time. It's time. It's too much. It's time. It's time. Oh, God. It's time. It's oh, God. Jesus. Your son is already suffering. Use the name of Jesus. Use the name of Jesus. Use the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Glory be to God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, who was it? Peter and Peter was it? Peter and John. When they asked, How come? How come this man walk? How come? After 37 years, you made him walk. They said it's the name of Jesus. To faith in the name of Jesus. God has given them a name far above every other name every other name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow every sickness should go 
heavy sickness. In the name of Jesus, I say now, in the name of Jesus Christ, every sickness in this church, every sickness in this house, every infirmity, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, come out, come out from the people of God and go, go sicknesses, go infirmities. Let God get the glory, the glory belongs to God. 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 To say, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, together with the sisters praying around you, your name is totally be made of all. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. You know, I came in this morning, there are a lot of things in my mind, a lot of things. Uh, the slaying of the 10 people and the condition of the country and my own situation, I, I, I was even hungry. But as the ministers were ministering this morning about surrender, one of your surrender songs, it came to me, if you come in one way and you remain that way, you are single. If you surrender to God, you are everything. You have everything. When you surrender to God, he takes over. You hear me? He takes over when you surrender to him. So if you didn't surrender this morning, I know you came in, you have worries and you have problems. And like me, some of you came in hungry because I don't have breakfast on, on Sunday mornings. I surrendered everything. This is no joke. I want you now to surrender. Could you sing that surrender song again? I said, sing that song. I want you to stand. And I want you to just surrender. Surrender to God. Come on. Don't, don't be selfish. Don't, I mean, I know we have brains and we have wisdom and we have beauty and we have... Just forget all of that and say, God, I'm surrendering my all to you. I'm just giving you me. Yes, surrender to God today. He's going to take care of everything. Yes. He is going to take care. Surrender to him. We have surrendered to ourselves. We have surrendered to our bank accounts. We have surrendered to our jobs. We have surrendered to our wives, our husbands, our children. Now surrender to Jehovah. Surrender to God. Surrender. We surrender God. We surrender Lord. We surrender, oh God. We surrender. If you surrender to him, you cannot go wrong. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm surrendering my own. Yes, surrender to him. I surrender to him. Surrender to him. let you go just remember those of you who want to remain back for prayer we can meet at the back you don't have to stay if you have to go that's okay but if you want to stay back so let me pray a prayer of dismissal pastor mickey you have anything you want to again okay wonderful please stay in surrender 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 even your doctrines even your preconceptions you might be perfectly right, you know, but still surrender it. Just in case you're wrong a little bit. So let us pray and I, I shall dismiss you at this time. Father God, in Jesus' name, we come to you. We thank you for the God that you are. Merciful, loving, just. Oh God, and yet still your word declares it. So 
it's, it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living God. And for those who are not saved, we pray that you will help them to become saved. And those who are sick, help them to receive and accept healing because you are a God that heals. And I pray, God, that you help us as we surrender ourselves to you. We will understand what that means. We will yield and trust in you to take care of everything. Thank you for our pastor. Thank you for pulling him through. Thank you for the praise and worship singers. Thank you for the musicians. Thank you for the streamers. Thank you for everything, for everyone. Thank you for this day. And now as we go, we go in the name of Jesus. Go with us. Stay with us. Oh God, help us. We commit our lives into your hands now. I dismiss your people, Lord, from this house, but not from your presence. In Jesus' name, and may the grace of the Lord, the love and Savior, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost rest remain and abide with us all. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. You're dismissed.